Hi, Mike Six, Uniform Foxtrot Charlie here. Um, so I've been given this battery, and I thought I could run my radio from it. It's 12 volt, uh, 17 amp. The reason I've been given the battery is because I think it's lost some power, and I want to connect it to my HF set, uh, ICOM IC718. Um, I've already got a smaller battery here, which it runs off if I've got a power cut or if I'm portable. Um, but I may as well make use of this one. The only problem is it's got no connectors. Uh, anything I can connect it. It's got a thread, but I haven't been able to figure out what size it is. None of my screws fit or anything. So this is what I've come up with. I've got these banana plugs here. Um, and they fit in there. Pretty nice. They're the same colour, but... As long as you know this is red and this is black, it's okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got two wires for each one of these, just so a bit more kind of electric can go through it, and it's a bit safer and doesn't melt the wire. So I've had to cut four of these off the same length and just started stripping the wire to connect them up to the banana. All right, plug. so I've finished stripping the wires now. Um, just got to fit them in here and it will work. My confidence is to make right. these wires join is twist the ends of these wires together. Oh. Yeah, I'm using the iPhone today, so uh, I usually use the GoPro, but my computer's too slow to edit it at the moment. Anyway, um, Try and link these together. Um, I'll do the same. I've uh, done ones. that. Um, is it focusing? No. Oh well. There you go. So I've done that. Just twisted them together so they're not all loose and got these two wires or four but two linked up. And now I'm going to attach them. So these, using the banana plug, you just got to unscrew that screw in there, pop these in, screw it back up so the connection's good, and then I'll show you what I do. Right, banana plugs are on the end, screwed up tight, tight connection. Now, what I'm going to do for this, put these crimps on the end. Not to join them together, I know one's a male and one's a female, but you'll see why in a minute. So I've just got to find my crimp and crimp these. It's a cheap little crimp, does the job though. Crimp these on to these connections. Cannot be bothered with soldering, so that's the only reason I'm using crimps really. That's one of the reasons I twisted the wires together to make them smaller so they'd actually fit in the crimp. Um, There we go. Alright, it's on there tight. Same with the crimps other one. Crimps done, both crimps on there tightly. Can't pull them off. Just twisted the wire to keep them together. Um, and the reason I've done one male, one, one female on the other is because on my power cable for my tra transceiver. I've got red male, black female, just so I can't accidentally put them the wrong way around and blow shit up. Um, so I'm going to do male, obviously, to female. Different sizes, but it's good fit, it's tight. And male to female again. So now, obviously these wires are thicker, but until I get some thicker wire, I'll just use this. Um, so they're connected. And this is how it works. This obviously goes into the back of the transceiver. I've got these wires connected up to these wires. I will be colouring this in black or putting some black tape on it in a second. Um, just so I know. So, obviously red goes into red. Just sits in there. Black goes into black, 
this goes into the transceiver. Probably now I just took off the uh, tripod. So that's all connected up. Quite tight in there. All these working. Uh, it's fully charged. These wires connected up. Goes into the back of the transceiver. And... Uh, it's connected. It's all working. Seems safe enough. I don't actually know how safe it is, so you can do it at your own risk. I'm not going to be hyper responsible for anything you do if you do this, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to get some thicker wire when I can get some. But uh, at the moment, I'll just be using this. But, as you see, it works fine. And it's just linked up as usual, it's usually coming off of this. I only use this as my uh, power supply, just from Maplin. It's 5 amps, I think. 5 amp. And, uh, and that works fine. I'm only allowed to use 10 watts anyway. I uh, don't know what would happen if you went above. I haven't tried, but it's fine for what I need it for. QRP, same as this. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you make more videos and reviews soon. Mike 6, Uniform, Foxtrot, Charlie K. Mike 6, Uniform, Foxtrot, Charlie. Thank you, you are 5914. Good luck.